In this video, I'll be co covering Blocky and its use on the M5 stick C slash C plus using UI flow. So as soon as you start up UI flow, the first thing you always want to do is make sure you have the right device and API key selected. So you're going to go to the hamburger menu up in the right hand corner, go to settings. You're going to make sure the number here matches this, this one shown on your screen. Your screen should be a blue screen showing API key um, with some number and make sure this number matches one on your screen. You're going to set your language and then you're going to pick your device. They now have this nice visual screen. I'll be working on the M, the five, the stick C plus, but the stick C should be similar except there's no built in speaker. I'm going to set my theme to black because I like how it looks and I'm hit OK. So now I have my basic device. Our first step is we want to make sure things are working. So we're going to go grab a label object. We're going to drag it onto our screen. We're going to change its value to label um, I'm going to call it label zero. It's fine, but we want to set the text to say testing. And we'll set the font to large. And we can rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to now drag it so it's sort of right in the middle of our screen. And it's a little big, it's 72. Let's go to 56. And so that's in the middle of the screen. I'm now going to press the play button. It's going to try connecting to the device. And with any luck, it should load software. And our screen should show the word testing just like it is in the demo area. But you want to look at your actual device to make sure it's actually saying that. If it is, we can move forward. So we're going to take and change this label back to rotation 0. And we're going to set the font size to something like reasonable. So how about 24 is fine. And we're going to make this display some sort of information. Um, let's start by playing with the buttons. So what we're going to do is grab the event block. And we're going to grab if Brett name is pressed. We're going to change the label text to show A. We're going to grab another one of those blocks. If B, and we're going to say, uh, yep, was pressed. I'm going to duplicate this block too, and I'll have it show B. And we're going to create another event block. We're going to do A and B is pressed. And we're going to take and duplicate the text, and that's going to say A plus B. And finally, we're going to take and um, that should be enough. We're going to now load our code. And when we actually run it, the text should change when we press the button. So if I press the A button, it should show A. If I press the B button, it should show B. If I press them both together, I should get A plus B, but only if they're pressed simultaneously. So that is a simple program using the buttons. Our next video will cover using the accelerometer.